You know, when you think of northern Michigan fishing, one of the first things that pop into mind, at least if you're a smallmouth bass fisherman, is Mullet Lake. You know, Mullet Lake is located just right in the town of Sheboygan, up in the northeast quadrant of the lower peninsula of Michigan. Mullet Lake is a very large lake, and it is a year-round multi-species lake. But on this lake preview, we're gonna concentrate totally on what it's known best for, and that is fall smallmouth bass fishing. You know, fall smallmouth bass fishing on Mullet Lake is really a rod in hand combat fishing situation. There's a lot of different presentations that can work. Drop shotting deep water and deep flats works great. Umbrella rigs or A rigs, uh, Alabama rigs as a lot of people call them, work fantastic as well. Tubes and fishing heavy tubes in deeper water works good as well. And we've shot several shows now on Mullet Lake and one of the things that we've found is that the size of the fish here on mullet is second to none. The fishing on the lake can be a little bit weather dependent, so you really gotta choose your days, because again, mullet lake is many, many thousands, I think 17,000 surface acres. It is a very large lake and it can get windy if you've got a 10 to 20 mile an hour wind, it can be a little bit of a tough one to fish. But if you get the right wind in the fall, this is probably the best place in lower Michigan to catch a six pound plus fall smallmouth. So let's talk just quickly about the three major presentations that I've used on mullet. The first is a drop shot rig or an Alabama rig. Both of those are fished very close to the bottom and very slowly on deep flats usually covered with gravel and rock. And what you have on mullet is a circumstance that it's a waterway connected to a waterway to Lake Huron, so it is filled with gobies. And that's a good thing as far as smallmouth bass is fishing because smallmouth bass really, really lock in on gobies in the fall to fatten themselves up before the winter and the ice hits. And what you basically do is you're finding the marks. They're gonna be deep. They're gonna be 15, 16, 18, 20, 25 feet down. And they're gonna be working these flats and these break line edges where the gobies are locked tight to the bottom. Now, if you know anything about gobies, gobies stay tight to the bottom. A goby swimming a foot off the bottom is a dead goby. So they really hug the bottom tight. So when you're doing your presentations, you also wanna be extremely close to the bottom. So you'll cast your A-rig out, let it sink completely to the bottom, give it a snap. Sometimes a one trick to keeping them from following up is cast them as far as you can, and as they're sinking, an extremely slow turn of the handle can keep that A-rig from, from tangling up. When it hits the bottom and you notice your line goes slack, give it a hard jerk and then a slow, even retrieve, just bumping that A-rig on the bottom. When you're fishing a drop shot, you can either cast the drop shot out, or if you get a really soft drift, you can also drift drop shots. Uh, a show we did a couple years ago, we got two of the biggest smallmouths on film for the whole season, doing an extremely slow drift of a 5 8 ounce drop shot weight and a little minnow imitating bait, and the smallmouth just couldn't leave it alone. That slow drag along the bottom was extremely effective. My favorite way to fish, for smallmouth bass in general is tubes, and tubes can be very, very effective. The key here is that tubes, I like to use tubes right away in the morning in the fall in the shallower water when you're up on the breaks, when you're fishing that eight to 10, that discoloration line on the, on the break lines, then it tumbles off into deep water. You can go ahead and work that tube all the way down the break, but just remember one tip when you're working a fall tube is to have enough weight. You know, you, you can end up in 20, 22, 24, 25 feet of water when you're fishing in the fall. So you wanna make sure you go ahead and get a 5 8 ounce weight in your tube. The coffee tubes from Strike King for years have been a go-to bait for me. The Big Ugly, which is a green pumpkin with gold fleck, or the, the green pumpkin with purple fleck are two of the best baits that I've found that work here on Mullet Lake. So put Mullet Lake on your fall places that you have to visit. It has possibly the best smallmouth bass fishing anywhere in the state of Michigan. Thanks for joining us today. This is John Bergsma with a Mullet Lake smallmouth bass lake preview from September, October, and November. You know, when you come to the Sheboygan area, I always stay at the Best Western River Terrace. 
You know, Adam and his staff do a fantastic job. And one of the reasons I love to stay there is because it's right there in the downtown area, walking distance from Mulligan's Pub or from the little brewery that's right there on Main Street where I can taste craft beers. It's, it's locationally just a perfect spot. What I really like the most about the environment and the setting there at Best Western River Terrace is just like the name says, it's right on the river and on the waterway. It has one of the most amazing views out the back of your room to a softly flowing waterway. If you're looking for a great place to stay here in the Sheboygan area, the Best Western River Terrace would be my choice number one.